Shalom family, today that the Most High is made, we rejoice and be glad in it. I just came on to say that weapons may form, but they will never prosper because the Most High has us and um, he has us under his shadow of his wing as the Psalms 91 declares his protection for us and that the enemies are literally watching our every move, you know, stalking us, gang stalking, everything. The spiritual warfare has heightened it, has doubled it, has like gone up in these last couple months and it's also the protection of the most high has gone up in these last couple months so like we can do all things through hamashiach we do all things through christ who strengthens us right so like not to worry about the attacks that might be coming not to worry about you know the enemies gathering themselves around you i just love that one psalm that says i will not be afraid of ten thousands who have set themselves against me round about i say that almost every day because i know that the battle is waging i know that it's hard i know that there's a lot of enemies that might be coming around me but i know that i cannot be touched like if i'm walking in my truth and and following the will of the most high and staying um under his protection and staying righteous and everything like that i know that no weapon formed against me shall prosper so it just makes me laugh and i just see the enemies just rolling around you know flying above me or you know just doing things to intimidate me but i'm just like in perfect peace because i'm like you can't do anything. You're only looking in from the outside and you're basically seeing me living my best life, you know, being blessed and also um, doing what I'm supposed to be doing, this uh, life purpose or this uh, destiny or this um, kingdom assignment. So I was just like, that's really like amazing, like how much when you have the faith, how much like nothing can really touch you and how you can really move mountains in the spirit and in the physical. And it's like you become untouchable. So just like staying um, on the faith of the Most High and then just like knowing that, you know, anything can happen in your life. But when you are steadfast in what you know and you like accomplishing the things that you know that you're supposed to be doing, then it's like nothing to worry about. And um, I'm just so happy for that. Like, really, I am. I'm just like so thankful and I just like enjoying my life because there has been enough sorrow, there's been enough pain, there's been enough, you know, um, uh, taken advantage of, but when you really come to the truth of who you are and what you're supposed to be doing, like you just eager to get it done and do it with so much power and so much um, strength. And it's crazy that I had seen the horse earlier and I had looked it up and it was talking about success um, humility, job well done, and um, strongness and courage in doing what you're supposed to be doing. And just like another sign of the Messiah being the cowboy and being the, um, the, uh, the, the leader or the um, person on the horse is showing the strength and, you know, carrying out and helping you and just watching over you and protecting you and things like that. So I was just like, wow, like you get all the different signs and synchronicities on this journey. And it's, it's so beautiful. It's refreshing. You know, nothing can hold you down. Nothing can hold you back. You know, they can only try to, you know, do certain things. And then you allow them when you open the door for them to try and tap into you or try to get you off your path. So, um that's what I'm learning and it's crazy how fast the blessings comes when you finally answer the call and then like <laughs> and you follow the both sides instructions like even when you don't like everything happens for a reason like I want to share my experience of me posting my testimony I was supposed to post it on Wednesday but I got like a sign like it was a two of diamonds card that I got and I guess it was telling me to post it urgency on Wednesday but I wanted to get other videos out first before I post it and then my um, phone ended up being broken. I couldn't get to my videos. I couldn't get up to my backup. I couldn't post nothing, but like I stayed up all day and like got it done. Like anything that seems too impossible is not impossible to the Messiah, to the Most High. So like you can do it. You like you can accomplish anything. Um, and I was just like, I got that done. And I was just thinking about all the demonic interference and all the um, satanic delay that be going on in the saints and the chosen ones lives and how we just think like oh it's a coincidence or this happened by chance but we're not rebuking the enemy constantly we're not keeping our foot on the enemy's necks we was given power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us and so we have to decree and declare that every day and then just like let the most high just show you like really exceed your expectations he's willing to do exceedingly 
abundantly and above all anything that we could ask for and so i just be sitting back like with my popcorn with my sword i just be laughing i just smile and i just be like i know this is gonna be taken care of like like i even made a video months back about how um you know you being uh, attack when your electronics start going wrong and when your things with your electricity your house and your cars like I've been dealing with all that and a lot of the different attacks from the kingdom of darkness but I don't let it stop me I don't let it derail me I don't let it define me because I know that I can do more and I know I can uh, overcome and rise above anything that the enemy throws at me um, you know if people try to have you on their altars or try to send like different bugs after you and things like that like it'll be literally you know flying above you or it but it can't touch you you know it can't touch you and that's what i'll be dealing with and that's why i just be so happy no matter what <laughs> you know like having haters and stuff but you know not worried about them because they are best motivators for real like you like try to doubt me so you come back even harder and then also like they watch you more than like the people you're sent to help watch you and so maybe they will get the message as well and turn to the most high and repent you know it's best to repent because touch not my noise to do my prophets no harm and also like it's like a, a shame to even mess with a saint or mess with a prophetess or mess with a prophet or mess with you know god's children but people don't understand that they know all the power in the world they know how much the messiah has the the most high the power that they have but still they choose to go against because they're just like disobedient children like the blasphemy be crazy and it's just like disobedient children and they just want to like I, I guess they love being on the losing side i don't know but everything they do like for temporary gain and material gain and financial gain everything is only like earthly pleasures when we're you know stacking up our pleasures in heaven and then also at the end of the book heaven being on earth and also the kingdom of heaven is within us and, and it says uh matthew 6 3 3 seek first the kingdom of god and all things will be added on to you so it's like really you have nothing to worry about you know people just be stressing and they be worried about what the what the enemy got planned on them or what they doing against them instead of walking in their purpose and you know fighting back in the spirit like i'm all about you know fight, fighting back in the spirit I'm all about like, you know, um, uh, achieving the goals or following the mission that the Most High has for me and, you know, helping others. I just really love that. And um, I hope that I can just reach a lot of people and have really deep, meaningful conversations and, you know, build and help the Messiah and just be there to um, help others awaken to who they are, walk in truth, walk in purpose and fix this earth, fix this world for real. Cause Satan been ruling, the Antichrist been ruling, and we got power stronger than anyone. I love that. Um, I love that uh, other scripture that says one of us will take a thousand to flight. So it's like literally the demons flee from us. They flee from the Holy Spirit. They flee from the Messiah. So it's like there's nothing for us to be afraid of. There's nothing for us to be worried about. And oh my goodness, the drums. They got the parade going right now. It's so much going on out here. Like I'm just like every little thing that happens in my life now, I just know it's not a coincidence. And I got to research it. I got to decode it. I got to figure out, okay, what's the message in this? What's the Messiah saying in this? Like it's so amazing on this journey. And I know that, you know, we have our enemies and the devil be warring against us, like trying to uh, why, uh, tire out the saints and everything like that. But I feel like we on the rise for real, like, like we up, like for real. And I just love it. I'm loving it. But that was my little video. I tried to make like a video a day and try to come back on here and just give some encouragement, give my, you know, my where I'm at or, you know, different messages that the Most High tells me to give. And just being obedient and staying faithful, staying loyal, staying true, you know, staying in repentance, staying humble, you know, so I can decrease, so the Most High can increase. And His Spirit is way better than any other spirit that's out here, you know, doing anything. So that was my little 10 minutes of joy and of progress and of peace and also just, um, you know, giving some truth out here. But yeah, I put light to the darkness and balance to the light. I pray that you and yours is protected and directed. Shalom. Have a great day. Peace.